morning guys. How y'all doing? It's go time. I went to bed at 2.30 in the morning because I've been uh, trying to get everything going and everything packed and it took all day and I just couldn't get it all done yet. I got it all together but I still got to get it into the truck and the camper. Oh, so we stayed up till 2.30 getting it all done. So went to bed, had a good night's rest. It's now 4.30 in the morning and I can't sleep anymore. I want to go. Are you ready to go to California, Diesel? You've never been to California, man. Oh, are you excited? I'm very excited, man. Very, you know, barely excited still. Look at my tail. I can't even hold it still. I'm trying real hard, man. Good boy. We are about to leave. We are packed up and we're ready to go. And off we go. Kind of a spooky start to the day. But hey, I'll take it. Whatever. Fog or no fog. A couple of days, I'm going to be hugging a palm tree. That's all I'm thinking about. So everything has been uh, set, ready to go. The trailer has been serviced. My truck has been serviced. Everything's been looked over. I've packed everything, gone over my list once, twice, three times. I'm sure I forgot something. But I got the important things. I got my pants. So we're wearing pants. And that means it's going to be a good trip. Well, hello there, guys. How's it going? How's it going? Guys, stay in there. Stay in there. So we just stopped here. We're in Morris. I wanted to show you these little things here. Let's take a little community of like these old style buildings. I guess this is sort of like a tribute to their heritage. Yeah, some more down here. This is like the rural municipality, sort of like the, the town hall almost. Look at this. Homestead hardware. Got milk? Actually, no, I don't. I'd like some milk, please. <laughs> and they got another one over here. The saloon. Another bell. Cool. So we're in Morris, Manitoba here. We're about 45 minutes into our day. Uh, just getting warmed up, pretty much. We pulled over to make sure everything is still okay. Make sure that the trailer's still doing fine here. Make sure the tires are doing good. I'm gonna crawl under there yet and take a look at everything. Everything's still hooked up here well. The bike, gotta climb up here and make sure that uh, everything is still good, nothing shifted. And you guys have gotta stay in here and be patient, okay? You good boys. And all the room in the world to run around in soon. So strange, crossing the border on this side. Usually I'm over there with the trucks, right? I haven't crossed on this side in a long time. You guys ready? Gonna be good? Sergeant, why are you taking up the whole back seat? That's not very nice, he's just sprawled out. Diesel, come on, fight for your territory, man. I'm not much of a fighter, man. That's why I got Sarge, because you're not much of a fighter, exactly. <laughs> Lots of people. Why are you guys so close? Oh dear. All right, so we got our pet barrier in place. We're all set to go, we picked it up here at the uh, Pemina, North Dakota at a parcel service here. Uh, the bowls that I bought that hang off my headrest to the back for them so that they have a little bowl of water and food there, they arrived broken. So that just means we have to stop more often to uh, eat and drink. Which is fine, whatever. We left really early so we got a lot of time to get to California. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So pretty much whenever I have to go to the bathroom, whenever I'm thirsty, pull it on over, let them drink, yada, yada, yada. Speaking of which, let's get going. I want to get to Grand Forks. So we made it here to Grand Forks, North Dakota, first city into the States pretty much on my route. And uh, the benefit of being in my pickup right now is this is a no truck route. And there's a Timmy's here somewhere. I goggled it before. There's a Timmy's here. And it's on a no truck route and I've never been able to go there. Today's the day. Well, that makes me very sad. I couldn't find it. Google, you lied to me. How dare you? Where is it? Unless I passed it, what are they like, not put a sign out front? 
How do you expect to get customers without a sign? Oh well. Gotta go get fuel anyways. Gotta stop for fuel more often in this pickup than I do in the big truck. Please drive to highlighted route. Yes, Mandy is with us. She came along. Well, we're here I-94 westbound in North Dakota. We're taking this through to uh, Highway US or US 85. We're gonna take that south down to uh, around Spearfish, South Dakota, on the I-90 there. Man, we are going against a pretty wild wind. Like we're going straight into it. I was wondering, like, man. Is this trailer I'm pulling really that heavy? No, we're just going directly into the wind. I couldn't imagine being in a big semi today. Oh, man. At least now we're a little smaller. We can sort of slice through the wind a little easier, eh? We still got 2,800 exactly kilometers to our destination in Anaheim. That is, well, 3,000 kilometers is 2,000 miles. Well, the Coffee Cup Travel Plaza is our second stop of the day for fuel. Gonna stop quite a bit more with the pickup than with the semi. We just had a nap across the road in an empty parking lot. Oh, it was good. I didn't sleep much last night because I was so excited to get going, so stopped here and had a nice little nap, leaned back. Oh, that was good. One thing I noticed though, they have music playing at the pumps here and it's obnoxiously loud. <laughs> Tended to go in there and I'm like, man, what's with the music? I can hardly hear myself think. They just have it cranked. You couldn't even have a conversation with someone. Like if someone was here with me, wouldn't even be able to have a conversation with them at the pump because the music is just loud and blaring. Maybe they accidentally bumped the switch or something, but oh well. Not like it's the end of the world. <laughs> I gotta go inside, use the facilities, and we gotta continue down the road. So this is still the Interstate 94 in North Dakota. We're coming up close to Bismarck, North Dakota, and I've decided to actually uh, call it a day a bit early today. Uh, a little disappointed. Uh, I wanted to go further, but with the lack of sleep I got last night, I'm just a little too tired to go further, and being the truck driver that I am, when I start to feel a little tired, I automatically start looking for places to pull over. So I'm not in a truck, I have a camper. And I figured, you know what? We should call a campground. I goggled the nearby campgrounds. Usually what I just say campgrounds near me. And the KOA campground in Bismarck popped up. It's the campgrounds of America. Uh, 30 bucks for the night. Back in my trailer in there, pop her up. And I'm gonna organize this a little better. As you can tell, I got a lot of my passenger seat here right now. It's not obstructing my view. Uh, this is my portable air conditioner. Uh, it has to remain upright, otherwise I can't use it for at least eight hours. So I want to use it right away when I get to my campsite in California. So uh, I, I put it in my passenger seat here. He's my little travel buddy. And I got him actually, <laughs> it's actually strapped in with the seat belt. So he's literally my travel buddy and it's like having a passenger there. And I can still see my mirror and out my window there. So don't worry about that. But I got a lot of my seat here. I got, you know, some clothes. I got my pillow. I got some... I got a lot of stuff that could go in the camper, but in order to get it into the camper, I gotta pop up the camper. So I figured, you know what, let's just go get a campsite tonight. Let's enjoy an evening at the campsite, set it all up. Let's get this truck a little bit better organized so that tomorrow I can start a fresh day with a good night's sleep and the whole truck will be organized for me, right? And I don't gotta worry about digging for stuff. Like all my snacks right now, I can't even reach my Lay's sour cream and onion chips because it's buried underneath all this stuff right here. Like that's... That is torture. I know they're down there, but I can't get to them. That's why I put them down there so that I can reach them and pull them up and eat them. No, I had to go and pile all this other stuff in there because I couldn't fit it into that little storage compartment in the trailer, right, when you open the door. So I actually got to pop it up and put it into the trailer, into storage compartments inside the trailer. Hmm. So it's a short day today. A little disappointing. I wanted to go further. We've gone about six and a half hours, 650 kilometers however many miles six and a half hours is. I'm sorry, I can't convert right now on the top of my head. So we're 15 kilometers, about 10 miles, nine miles from the campground. And we're set up there and 
drive a full day tomorrow. Like I said, we left early, so we got extra time. There's only 30 bucks for the night. Why not? Maybe we'll even have a bonfire. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Maybe they got a pool there. I probably won't go for a dip. I'm gonna get this truck organized and go to sleep. <laughs> Here we are. Campgrounds of America. This is different than a regular truck stop that we usually stop at, eh? <laughs> Navigate top road. Where's their office? Look at all the flags. I bet you those are the flags of all the states, eh? Looks like it, yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Oh, I forgot my lawn chair. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's the office right there. All right. We're going camping, people. Arriving at 3720 Centennial Road. All right, here we go. No visitors. Return to office and register. Alright, here we go. So this guy's leading us to our site. Site 111, 111, triple one. Is that lucky? I think so. So cool, I gotta go camping. This is so much better than a truck stop. This is like a camper stop. Can I just do this now? <laughs> okay, so this is the spot right here. Gonna back in there. Alright. Well, here we are. A nice little campground. That's got lots of space here yet. Got a little playground over there. Apparently, they got a dog park nearby here. Where dogs can run around. Very nice, very nice. And this whole site is mine here up until those trees. So I got room to tie out the dogs here yet. That'll be nice. I can even get a fire pit if they want, if I wanted. I hope they'll bring me a fire pit and some firewood. That should work. Yes, yeah, so I left it hooked up just because I'm gonna leave like bright and early in the morning. I'm only here to sleep. There she is. I wanna welcome you guys to my humble home for the next two and a half weeks or two weeks or so. It's not all organized yet. Yes, it was cleaned out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is where I'll be living, guys. That fridge works. I don't think the stove does. The water, I don't worry about that stuff anyways because I'm gonna worry about food. I'll just buy food. There you go. I'm gonna open up all the windows so that we can get some airflow in here like that. And yeah. We're doing it. We're camping. Yes. You like the campsite, Diesel? <laughs> I'd like it better if I could be loose, man. Touche. I agree with you. Sarge, how you doing over here? Doing good? Don't tip your food over, please. How about you eat it instead? Eat it, man. You haven't eaten much today. So the campsites here are actually huge. They're ginormous. Like, look at the size of this thing behind me. Like, all of that. All of that to the trees over there. That's crazy. Look at it from over here.
It's just huge, eh? Man, I wish all campsites were this big. This is my itty bitty camper in the corner. <laughs> Sit. Sergeant, talking to you. I'm busy, man. Sit. Sit. Good. You gotta stay sitting though for it to count. It doesn't count if you get back up right away. Diesel's being good. Why can't you be more like Diesel? <laughs> oh, that's right. I dropped the bomb. <laughs> so this is uh, my setup in here. Uh, now that it's finished for the night, Diesel's gonna sleep right here. His bed is actually right here. Oh, I'm gonna put that there. He's gonna sleep here. I've wrapped up the pillows uh, with a sheet just so that they don't get any hair on them. Diesel Sergeant's gonna sleep up there. I'm gonna sleep here. And if you if you if you smell, it smells like fresh laundry. I got my whole setup here. I got my supper, my subway, my computer all hooked up. The fridge works. It's actually like brand new. And I'm gonna put that water into the pickup yet, and then tomorrow I'm gonna leave as much of this in here as I can. Actually. Um, like my blankets and stuff, that was all in the pickup before. I'm just gonna leave that on the mattress. I gotta move the mattress over here and I'm just gonna like lay it on top of it. Hopefully it'll all fit so that I don't have it all in my pickup. And tomorrow will be a lot better of a day. There you go. So I'm gonna end the vlog here guys. Thanks for joining me today on my first day. First day headed to California, I'm really excited. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know where we're gonna make it to. Uh, we're gonna drive till we get tired, pretty much, and probably find a campsite some similar to this. Uh, probably close to Utah. We'll probably be in Wyoming somewhere, I'm thinking, but we might make it to Utah. We'll see. Depends how early I get up. I'm not really an early bird, but when it involves fun stuff, sometimes I can convince myself to get up early. <laughs> we'll see. So guys, go down below to the description. There's links there to past vlogs of mine all the way up to two years ago. If you want to see what I've been up to on this day, last year, or the year before. Uh, I didn't have Sergeant then, but I had Diesel for the past, like, oh, I had him since he was 10 weeks old, and he's turning four next month, so you can see what he looked like two years ago as well. I will talk to you all tomorrow. We'll see you then.